Hey, what's up everybody? Just watching some FPV footage I shot. It's on the live channel if you want to check it out. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about balance charging all of these batteries. It basically takes forever. I've got this really nice beta flight or uh, sorry, beta FPV charger. Works great. High voltage charger, but you can't balance with it. At least I'm not aware of it. If I can, someone tell me. I don't think so. But I've got this cool little charger. This is a USB-C to two port, which is kind of nice because it has this little battery voltage tester on it. That's cool. Can't balance charge with it. So I have all these batteries, and the only way I can balance charge these things is with a standard off-the-shelf charger like this. Okay, then I have this weird looking cable thing. I plug it into here, plug it into here. Okay, and then I have a single plug on here. I have all kinds of single cell plugs on here, but I have one of these. Plug it into there and I can balance it. This takes forever. So, how do you do this more effectively? Well, you build something like this. So this is my first iteration. This is a six cell two, four, or six balancer with a balance lead on the side of it. Okay? So that's what we're gonna build today. Now I have my second iteration because yes, I literally built the balance charger, glued all these really expensive plugs in here, and then forgot to add the balance lead. So I just glued it on the side. So for the second iteration, I actually moved all these a little bit closer because they were just really far apart and added my balance port here, my three XT60s here. So, common XT60 to XT60 is what you're gonna be able to plug in. Then you plug in your balance lead like this, and you're good to go. You can then plug each one of these in here, and balance six, them at, six of them at a time. So briefly, how does this work? Well, imagine a regular six cell battery. What do you do? You plug it in with a cable like this, you plug in the power, right, to a charger like this, so you got these type of connections right here, and you just balance all the cells out. Well, you can represent those cells as individuals with something like this. There are probably products like this on the market. I didn't even look, I just decided to make one. So you can buy these Beta FPV plugs, jacks, connectors, all right? So these are BT, Beta FPV, sorry. These are BT 2.0 connectors. Okay. They're a little bit expensive, but if you get on Alibaba, you can buy all males or all females, or you can get a mix and match. I just got a mix and match because I'm going to use them for different stuff. So, we're going to build this today. So how does this, how does this function? Alright, let me show you. I'll just use some simple batteries here. Alright, so we're going to set up six of these, just like as if it was a six cell battery. So imagine we had a regular six cell battery, okay? That's what they're gonna be, okay? Six batteries connected here, 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 here. So you have a positive and a negative, right? Full pack voltage. Then you have a wire between each one of these. That's why you have seven wires for a six wire pack, okay? So we're literally just gonna wire it up just like that on the inside. The balance plug is gonna go in between each one of these cells and one on the ends. And then what I did here is because most balancers or most chargers like this do not accept um, the wrong voltage inputs. You have to have the right cell count for what you want. I decided to do a two, a four, and a six because I fly pairs of batteries with a guy like this. So I'm always gonna have pairs most of the time. Even if you don't, um, you can just stick one that's fully charged or already balanced. It actually doesn't matter. You just need to fill in the spot. So instead of making you fill in all the spots, I went ahead and added these ports which allows you to switch between 2S, 4S, or 6S. So if you plug it in here, you're gonna be able to plug in just two on the end. You plug it in here, you're gonna be able to plug in four as a four cell, and here is your total voltage across all six. So that's how this works. I'll show you a diagram in a minute. But first, let's just get started. So I 3D printed this part, okay? and cleaned it up just a little bit. I did put numbers in here, but unfortunately you can't see them because the way I printed this, but they're vaguely there. 
but I do have one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then this is two, four, and six cell. So we need to wire it that way. All right, so I already have my connectors here. We're gonna get them out. And these, these should print so that they're tight, but not too tight. All right, so I've got my three XT60s. Get all this out of the way. And I've got my Beta FPV BT 2.0 and these are the uh, male connector, okay? The one that goes to the other side of the battery. So, these should fit in here really nice. So, they go in there just like that, push them all the way down, they fit just fine. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Apparently, got the camera too far up, there you go. There's those guys. So, I'm gonna assemble this thing using a time lapse. Um, but basically these all just push in here. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue, then stick them in. And that way I'm confirmed that they actually stay in. I'm just gonna use a dab of super glue, but of course you can also use um, epoxy or something. Just have to be very thoughtful not to get glue on the actual connectors them themselves, or else you're gonna have to clean them. So, let's pop all the connectors in. Here we go. So, all glued up, ready to go. This particular connector is not this connector. This is a 2.45 pitch JST connector. Um, I'm using a slightly different cable. This is actually a uh, totally different brand, but it does fit the plug the way I want it to, and that's what I got, that's what I use, but the real plug is the one that fits your regular balancer, JST connector. Um, that one I had to trim to get in there, but I got it. So I just put a little glue around all the edges, then popped them in. Now, we gotta solder this bad boy up, so let's draw up a schematic, and I'll show you how this is gonna work. When I'm all done, I'll probably pot this whole thing with epoxy, or hot glue would work too, just to make sure none of this stuff moves. Super glue should be fine though. As you can see, I already soldered it. I made this drawing and then realized it was slightly wrong, so I'm gonna just draw it again for you. So, you've got your three XT60s up here at the top. All right, so this is negative side. This is the positive side. Then you have your battery balance lead. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and these are technically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I know it's upside down for you. Okay, so this is these up here, by the way, are going to be my my 2S, my 4S, and my 6S. Got it? Alright, then we've got our really nice looking BT 2.0 connectors okay so again my flat side is my positive so we're gonna wire up the battery as if it was a six cell battery first and then we'll connect up these three plugs these are the confusing ones this is all very straightforward I'm gonna use a pencil to connect all this this is gonna be cell number one two three, four, five, and six. All right, this over here is gonna be the positive lead. This over here is gonna be the negative lead. That is the way that these connectors are set up. All right, so if you would plug this in, it'd be just like that. Now, the easy part, this balance lead. This is cell number one, okay? Let's just do them all at the same time. These are in series, okay? These have to be in series. You cannot do this in parallel. Things will be bad days, all right? But 
We can definitely do these in series. So the positives go to the negatives all the way through. All right, that's, that's easy. Okay, then the negative side, of course, is gonna come over here to the negative side. The positive side, of course, is gonna come over here to the positive side, all right? So this is now your balance battery. So what do you do? Well, the second cell is gonna be connected to the second pin. The third cell is gonna be connected to the third pin. Fourth cell, fourth pin, fifth cell, fifth pin, six cell around the booty. All right, back to the six cell and then your seven lead. So that's where your seven balance wires come from. Now this is gonna be a little tricky purely because of how this is set up. It's actually not that difficult. All the negatives get tied together and they get tied to ground. Easy, okay, super easy. The 2S has to go as if it's connected to this wire right here. So I'm gonna make a junction, all right, and it's just gonna connect right here. So now if I plug into here, it'd be like I was plugging into just a two cell battery. That's the way you look at it, right? You'd have three of these wires and they're connected to these three cells and then you'd have your pow your balance lead. That's or your power lead. That's how you that's how you think about it. The next one, one, two, three, four, all right. We're going to go to the fourth cell, so that means it has to be connected here. All right, and it has to be connected to this one. So if you have a 4S, one, two, three, four, you're just connected to power on each end. 6S is actually even easier. We're just gonna go right off the last pin because that's where it goes. So when you actually plug in here, that's what you're doing. You're just plugging into different spots so that when you plug your balance lead in, it matches your two, four, or six cell, depending on what you want. That is literally how simple it is, okay? Not that difficult. I use white wire, and why did I do that? Because I'm not racist, they always use black wire, and I don't know why, so I decided to use white. Um, just a note here, if you were to take this connector and solder all your wires to it, slip heat shrink over each one, and then glue it in here, it might be easier. Now for me personally, I feel confident enough to solder these in there without shorting them together, but if you wanted to do it on the bench and then slide them in here, uh, that's totally a good idea. Okay. Last step, of course, we're gonna put the bottom on. So I'm gonna go find me some 440 screws. I'm gonna screw the bottom of this on, and uh, then I'm gonna put some rubber feet on it, and we'll see what works. All right, guys, since this is real life, I just realized I made a mistake. It's a simple mistake. I have on my diagram that this is 2S, but that's if it's sitting like this. So because I have it like this, this is actually 6S, this is actually 2S. Not a big deal, I just had it wired that way, so if you want it to match, you can just switch this wire and this wire and everything will work just fine. So that means that this one here, let me just actually fix that. All right, this is gonna be 6s and this is going to be 2s okay all right let's continue so try this again i'm going to plug into here the first two batteries i should be able to connect power right here and i should see my voltage shouldn't see anything on this one and nothing on this one because i don't have any batteries in here all right now we're going to go with two more We're gonna have the same voltage here, but we're gonna have our next set of batteries here. All the grounds are tied to together, so it doesn't matter where I measure from on that one. And lastly, plug in the last two batteries. And of course, I'll have the maximum voltage there. Now, according to my diagram, even though I had it upside down, this guy would plug in this way, so this would be our negative pin, this would be our positive pin, we're gonna have full voltage. Okay, that's the same thing as this pin. If I worked my way down the pins, one less battery, one less battery, one less battery, one less battery, and one less battery. Okay, 
So, let's go actually plug it into the balance charger. These are probably all balanced, but let's just go try it see what happens. All right, so, got my trusty old uh, Toolkit RC. This is an MD6. I really like this meter. So you're gonna take your cable, in my case this funky cable for me. I'm gonna plug it into my balance cord. cord. I'm going to plug it into my uh, balancer and there I can see all my cells. So for instance if I unpull, unpull, if I pull one of these out you can see I lost number six. Alright, and how about number three? Yep, so that's working great. Now, just find yourself a straight through plug-in cable for this. I'm actually using a power beater, but you just need a straight through. So if I plug into this side, and I plug into this side, that's my two cell voltage. So if I go to balance, all right, storage, 3.85, if I do start, it says doesn't match okay and it doesn't match because I have a six cell just to prove a point I'm gonna unplug six five two four five three four uh, uh, three four five and six all right and I'm gonna try to start it again now it's gonna let me okay so if I were to do again the next thing you could do is of course a 4S and if you do that you need to plug in to the next plug over right boom and it's gonna let you all right if I go to the 6S won't work gotta plug in six cells now it's running so, there you go. We've successfully made a 6 port, 2, 4, or 6 cell BT 2.0 balancer from scratch. Pretty nice, huh? I will relabel the, uh, I'm going to relabel the uh, top of this cover to have the 2 and the 6 switched because I want that to be right. Yeah, so there you go. You can charge them this way, and um, you might be asking, well, shouldn't you put fuses in here and all kinds of stuff? Well, the answer is, is there a fuse on here? No, there's not. So as long as you wire it correct and you do it safely and you know there's not going to short anything out, you'll be fine. If you are concerned, you could put a fuse in between each one of these cells. I don't think you need to, but, you know, it's one of those things. It's up to you. So there we go. Sweet! All right, well, I'm going to let it go from here. See you guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I hope it was helpful. Charging, balancing, doing all the things out of focus. So, yeah. Let me know if you like this project. I'll post it on Thingiverse. You can go download it. Let me know if you make it. Let me know if I should change something. Let me know if you do or don't like a part of this. Anyway, God bless. See you guys later. Read the Bible more. As always, Russ out. Bye-bye.